get to some questions. I thought it was, you know, for two teams competing to try to, to put themselves in a tournament, uh, it was an extremely well played game. Uh, very well pitched on both sides. Uh, you know, they were able to pick one up in the first and then add one in the third. Uh, probably the play of the game, I guess, was there in the, the fourth or the fifth when Willis dives and, and makes a diving catch off a of Kep's line drive with two outs. And, you know, that ball lands where it first and third and, and sitting with another lineup up with a chance to get right back in the ball game. But, uh, you know, they, had, they only had three base runners the last six innings of the ball game. One hit and a couple walks. And, you know, the job that Luke and, and Blake and Justin Walk did for us tonight certainly was good enough uh, to give us a chance to win the ball game. Unfortunately, you know, their three guys were a little bit better, uh, Kelly and, and Perkins and Robertson. But, uh, you know, we've got to make some adjustments between now and tomorrow from an offensive standpoint and uh, continue to compete. And hopefully that third phase of the game, we're a little, a little better tomorrow. Questions? Coming in, they were top 15 in the country in strikeouts for the staff. What was the, the, you know, telling the guys just be patient, try to get your pitch? It seemed like they were chasing a lot of high pitches tonight. Uh, I mean, I don't know that we chased a lot of high pitches. We chased a lot of, a lot of balls out of the zone um, at times. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't think we did a real good job uh, of trying to stay on on some pitches in the zone that we had a chance to handle early in the camp. Um, you know, we took some of those pitches. Uh, we swung at some other, you know, some other off-speed pitches early in the camp that typically you you need to eliminate. And uh, and we didn't do a real good job of that. And then, of course, when Perkins came in, then your you know your approach has got to be different. You know, because he's going to spin breaking ball after breaking ball. You got to be able to see. The breaking ball that's that's got a chance to be hit. You know, I need to see it start on me, so it's got a chance to be in the zone. You know, we swung at several that were that started out over or started down that were going to be out of the zone, and you know, we just we didn't do a good job recognizing recognizing pitches tonight. You know, the grounds crew they do the number three stencil instead of the Seahawks, and they've got some flags with your name hanging in the outfield. Uh, you know, just having the support from people like the grounds crew, crew and the fans, was that something you noticed tonight as far as just people out here to support you this last series? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I didn't notice the flag until we had a national anthem, so uh, I don't know how soon it was put up, but I saw it then, and, uh, you know, it's, it's awful nice uh, to be recognized uh, by those folks. You know, those guys in the grounds crew, you know, they do a tremendous job for us and, and they work every day to, to make this field, this playing surface as good as there is in this region. And, uh, you know, the fans, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll continue to get some more fans out in the next couple of days to support these young men that are competing to try to put themselves in the postseason. Do you remember anything like this in the past years where it was four teams Six teams battling for four spots. I know in years past, you guys have been, it's come down to Sunday before, but I mean, this seems like everybody is right jumbled in the mix right now this year. No, I've never, you know, I don't ever remember us being in that position. I, you know, there's been several years where we've had three teams battling for one or two spots to get in. Uh, a couple of years when it was a four team tournament and then two or three years when it was a 16 tournament. But uh, to have this many people, six teams bunched up within a game of each other going into the last weekend, it's uh, you know, certainly unprecedented in our league. And, uh, you know, everybody's, I'm sure everybody's scoreboard watching, um, especially after games, to see how things have unfolded and try to find out, uh, okay, what have we got to do tomorrow to find our way in there. How much stress is, are, are you on? I mean, is this stressful for you or uh, just knowing that there are two more games that, I mean, those need to be wins, you, you would assume, to, to get in and make sure that that streak of never missing a tournament? Uh, you know, of course, every streak's meant to be broken. Um, we would certainly not like for that to happen this year. Um, I want it. 
for the guys that are playing. You know, we've got some young kids, we've got some freshmen and, and some redshirt guys that hadn't had the opportunity to go to postseason yet. So I want it for those guys. I've been there, you know, I've had my chances, but for them to get a chance, that's what I'm looking for. And there's really, you know, we're trying to get them to understand it's, it's, it's not pressure, okay? You know, we're coming in to play a game and play the best of your ability and stay focused on the, on the task at hand and don't let that come into play. You know, it can't be I've got to have a hit or I've got to throw a strike here, I've got to make a play or, you know, I've got to steal a base or, you know, if you get in that mode, then you're going to play way too tight and you're going to do some things that typically you wouldn't have necessarily do in, in different situations. So, you know, it's a matter of staying focused on, on what's in front of you. Stay where your feet are and, you know, let's see what we can do the rest of the way. You say there's no pressure, but I'm sure that the guys don't want to disappoint. And have you seen them? Have you, have you, what was that the message you kind of told them? I thought we got a little tight and tore the back in the last couple innings. Um, you know, I thought guys worked way too hard at the plate and really got away a little bit from their, their approach. And, you know, we, we reminded them of that. And, and that's all you can do. You know, you <laughs> just hope that they can uh, find a way to, to just go play the game. Anything else? Thank you, Coach.